Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow YouTubers, all of you, I bid welcome to this aesthetic starship review about the Kelvin timeline Tilaro Intel Carrier Warbird Tier 6, and that is obviously a starship from the Romulan faction. Now, this is going to be the last um, aesthetic review that I'm going to do for the Kelvin timeline lockbox, because I, I covered all of them. I covered the Federation one, the Klingons one, and I'm going to do the Romulan. And I also covered the one from the Lobby store, and that's the Vengeance class. So this is going to be the last one. Sad face. <laughs> But anyway, um, to all of the players that are watching my videos for the first time, there are jump timestamps in the video description below, so you can jump to a specific part. And also, I'm going to um, I'm gonna go through all of the ship statistics, and I'm gonna uh, like do a review on that. After that, I'm going to try to customize this ship a little bit. After that, we're going to go into space and we're going to equip all of the different space set reputation. And that is going to change the ship in its layout. Um, after that, we're going to go to the special bridge that this ship features. And after we had our bellies full of that, we're going to take the ship into combat and we're going to do a patrol mission. Obviously, it's going to be the Argala one. So here we go. Um, the ship statistics. This one. It is right here. Information. Um, special requisition pack. The Kelvin timeline. Talaru Intel um, carrier warbird tier six. A versatile uh, warbird designed to serve as space control ship. The Tolaro Intel Carrier is not to be taken lightly. Agile for a ship of its size, the vessel carries a complement of Scorpion fighters and an array of tactical defense systems. A uh, potent mining drill beam weapon gives the Tolaro heavy, a heavy punch in battle. This starship features a Commander Intel or a Commander Science slash Intel Bridge Officer Station and a lieutenant engineering slash temporal operative bridge officer station. Um, it features a Romulan battle cloak device and sensor and active sensor arrays. The former allows the starship to cloak while even or even while in combat and the latter show uh, allows Intel craft to gather information about the target to expose a vulnerability in their defense. <laughs> Intel ships are capable of passive of passive warp signature masking. This passive ability grants the Intel ship a tiny a tiny a tiny amount of stealth, <laughs> which will render the Intel craft undetectable at a long range. This passive stealth bonus is removed when the starship activates its cloaking device. The Kelvin timeline Talaro Intel carrier warbird comes equipped with a mining drill laser emitter universal console this uh, specialized mining drill emitter can be hooked into a weapon system of any modern starship in order to weaponize this uh, potential in order to weaponize its potential uh, the drills laser can be maintained on a target for a very long time, gradually increasing in both damage dealt to the foes and the damage done to their armor system, which in return increases the damage of the target foe um, will take from all sources of damage. The amount of this the amount of time this emitter takes to recharge is directly related on how long it's active on a single target, taking longer to recharge the longer it is maintained. Having this console equipped will increase your maximum shield capacity, which will also uh, which also increases both current and maximum shield subsystem power. Note: source of max power does not stack; only the strongest applies per subsystem. Um, this console mod can be equipped on any ship in any console slot and you only may equip one of these on any single ship. Um, 
after achieving level 5 in your Kelvin timeline Talaro Intel Warbird or Intel Carrier Warbird Tier 6 Starship Mastery you will unlock the um, highly specialization spaceship trait all right well this starship trait is slotted each time one of their ability is one of their ability is activated it will cause all other specialist uh, bridge officer ability to recharge more quickly allowing them all to be used more frequently in addition you will gain a boost to starship hull repair starship weapon specialization starship particle generation uh, generators skill this skill buff stacks up to five times uh, the Kelvin Timeline Talaro Intel Carrier Warbird comes standard with two hangar bays of the Kelvin Timeline Scorpion Fighters. These fighters are armed with a plasma beam array and a plasma torpedo launcher. The, uh, they also can use the reroute reserve to weapon one abilities. Uh, obviously from the Romulan Republic in faction it is a tier 6 uh, rank required uh, Sub Admiral 1, a hull strength of 39,000 hit points at level 40 and 44,850 hit points at level 50 and a whooping of 52,000 hit points at level 60. A shield modifier of 1.25 also has um, four weapons on the front, two weapons on the aft, uh, three device slots. Uh, the bridge officer station I'm going to skip for now I'm going to showcase that in space console modification for tactical three engineering and for science a base turn rate of 8.5 degrees per second an impulse modifier of 0 0.18 and an inertia rating of a 30 uh, plus 10 to shield power and plus 10 to auxiliary power can load dual cannons also dual heavy cannons if you want to go like that with the carrier <laughs> you can uh, Romulan battle cloaking device um, that universal console that mining drill laser emitter two hangar bays are loaded with the Kelvin Timeline Scorpion Fighters and also uh, the Active Sensor Arrays. That is going to give you gather intelligent exposed vulnerability in the defense weapon system critical, sis uh, critical systems and the Starship Mastery Package Science uh, Carrier Warbird. Quick deployment It's going to increase the XP that your pet is going to get and minus the hangar pet recharge time um, enhanced uh, singularity circuit um, singularity gain plus singularity cooldown uh, reactive shielding technology advanced uh, shield system and that highly specialized that is a starship trait that we're going to unlock and singularity abilities uh, 40 base power for all SIP systems a plasma shockwave, quantum absorption, warp shadow, singularity jump, and singularity overcharge. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let's open this baby up. Uh, here we go. Let's jump down there. Select my ship. This one is going to be my current ship. Let me just rename it to something with S3 letters the pass <laughs> or the pack <laughs> that's awesome this thing does look really nice though on here um one disclaimer i am in dribble and the reason why is because um in normal holodeck i wouldn't be able to show these temporal defense space set because i just have not um you know i i'm not able to um, get my character all the way to a level 5 as it is current I mean I'm working on it as you guys are seeing I'm level 2 and, and a quart or something like that but um, that is the reason why I'm here in triple anyway customization of uh, the starship wow this what look at this 
But this is awesome. Let's, can we zoom in a little bit? No, that's it. This is it. This thing looks good. Yeah, looks looks awesome to be honest. Look at this. This thing is like it's like ready for combat. It's like you're talking to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, the template is you only have one template. Uh, we do have its own unique interior, so we're going to showcase a uh, visuals on the the bridge. It also features windows. There's only one variant of those. So no other windows are available, just this thing as it is right there. Wow, we got a lot of material types. Um, so the standard one is the one that you guys are seeing right here, type K. We have... Oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. Are you for real? Oh my god, this thing looks so amazing right now. It's made me speechless. Oh wow. So that is Riemann type 1. Riemann type 2. Oh, this is so much scarier than Riemann type 1. Especially love these whatever it looks like it's glass but I guess it's not glass wow we go with the Romulan type 1 this is the material type that they have set for Romulan type 1 it's a little bit too much white For my personal taste, we have a brown, yo. We have a brown version. Yeah. Are you guys liking this version? No, I'm not. Uh, type 3, really good. Really good. More appealing this way than the brown version. Um, we have a type 4. Okay. We have a type K. That is the one that we also showcased in the beginning. We have the veteran version. What? Veteran version is because we are a veteran as of these, uh, as this, what was it like three, four days ago, five days ago ish? Nice, liking the veteran version a lot, and there is, oh, oh my god, the upgrade version, you can see that glow on the ship's hull right there, oh, this is good, this is awesome to look at, look at this, oh my god. What? These guys are amazing. They're doing such an amazing job. These cryptic developers as of late. I'm amazed at this part right here though. The Riemann material type 1. That is a awesome material type to, to be displayed. Um, going with the normal K. We have a couple of pattern overlays that you can equip on various places on this thing. I think it's underneath. Probe door? Is it that thing? What's a probe door? What the hell is a probe door? <laughs> Are you guys seeing any changes? Any pattern overlays somewhere? I'm not. Mm. 
Anyway. No, I'm not seeing any though. Anyway, must be something that I'm missing. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below. What is the probe door? Because we have a saucer hole in the cells, but we we also have a probe door. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Anyway, I'm going to cancel all of the changes that I made to this ship because I want the default version, the default uh, Mark 10 as it comes out of the box and right now we're gonna go into space because we're going to do the equipping the all of the different uh, visuals on this thing because in space it is awesome to be here and I'm also going to launch my pets so you guys can see the scorpion fighters that they talked about. Now, obviously, there are like better variants of these things. Uh, pets. Can I not, not grab them from here? What? I don't have dilithium? Blech. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to showcase those, I'm just going to showcase these. If they can stop for a second, I can zoom in on these guys, so you guys have could have like a... on this guy up here. And that's it. There in your face in your screen right there oh I moved away ah, stop stop don't move away <laughs> but anyway um this is how this ship looks like with its normal mark 10 default skin I'm really loving this engine wig that bright yellowish tint that it has Wow, that is a thing of beauty to showcase. Um, now, I'm going to tell these pets to enter the ship because I want to showcase this ship a little bit. I don't want them flying around all the, all the police because that's going to mess up. Come on, guys, dock with the... Dock with Mama! <laughs> God damn it. Let's take them off. That's that is even better. Okay, so this is how it looks like with the normal Mark 10 space set. And you guys can see it is Oh look at this part right here. The where the engine glow kind of like goes inside of the hole hmm I was thinking like it's like glowing or something like like it's pulsating but it's like from the engine output or the engine wake right here it's going like inside of the hole <laughs> that's that is bad <laughs> that is bad mechanics cryptic but anyway, we are going to uh, equip all of the different space set and we're going to start with the adaptive Mako space set. And we're going to see how this ship is going to transform. Look at this. The adaptive Mako space set is making this ship look like this. Nice overlay that you guys are seeing. A nice... Wow, this is awesome. This is oh, what? Oh wow! This part right here is like it's armament or something like that. It's armor on the on the wings, and even 
in like in this opening up here you can see like it's full of little details that is awesome look at this this is good I do love these parts I think they are like weapon nodes or something like that where the w ship is going to fire its weapons from but we'll see in combat where actually the weapon nodes are going to be but I do love them it's like a small deflector dish <laughs> it has two of these <laughs> it's awesome nice nice glow up here I'm definitely loving this ship the way it looks next one is going to be the Aegis Space Asset One, two, three with the Aegis space set. Now, obviously, this is a carrier, so it's not going to turn real fast. So we have a lot of angles to cover with this thing. And it's really good to see. Look at this. This white line up here goes all the way up here to the wings. Oh, it even has, like, on the um, the opening uh, I have really no idea what this thing is called the mouth <laughs> if we can call it that nice looks good it looks really good I don't like this part though where the engine way goes through the ship maybe they could have pushed it a little bit back to make it a little bit better but it's good I mean, we are we are here for all of the visuals to be displayed, and right now it is it is awesome. It's not overwhelming though. The Aegis space set. I, I was expecting just a little bit more details, especially on these wing plates up here. All these three wing plates to have a little bit of a more of a whitish contour around them maybe that was going to be awesome but anyway uh, the Borg space uh, set is one that we're going to showcase right now including the universal console that is going to give us like nodes all over the place and this is how it looks like with the Borg space set and by nodes I mean like these little things it's really hard to make out but they are there trust me where is the deflector dish is that what is it like that thing up here real tiny thingy <laughs> it is wait a minute is it really yeah it must be yeah it is because it has those antennas coming out of that what Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so we got that engine, like, modification for the Borg engines up here. And there is another one up here for, like, the nacelles. And there is something up here that I really don't know what they're putting up there. But it's there. We have Borg details all over the place on this thing really tiny deflected dish from the Borg space and we're actually are accustomed to seeing that really big deflector dish and now they're going the other way around and you see nodes right there and here and here and there on the other side that is because if we also equipped it that universal console from the Borg reputation and this is the Borg space set on this thing nice the counter command space set is the one that we're going to showcase one two three right there And this is how it looks like with a counter command space set. Wow, this is something I really 
am enjoying a lot as of late the counter command space set from the undying reputation I am really loving it because it is it makes this ship like with lots of glowy parts that are really appealing to the eyes and especially when it is like facing the sun so it's being illuminated by the sunlight I am definitely loving this part right here that is awesome and especially right here it's kind of like scary factor marks mark 10 <laughs> You happen to come across this ship in a dark alley, man, you're going to run. <laughs> Especially the way that they made these domes appear. It's really nice. Yep. There is the counter command deflector dish that we can't actually see. It's really tidy. <laughs> but we are seeing lots of engine trails, engine output. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Nice. And the next one that we're going to showcase is uh, the Delta Space Set. There we go. We have all three pieces. Yes, we do. And look at this. Oh, this thing is a beauty with the Delta Space Set as well. Not personally, I'm not really fond of the Delta visuals. But it makes f for this ship. It is it is good. I mean, it's not supposed to be scary with the Delta space set, but it is gorgeous to look at. Like it's like it has armor plating on top of the everything. <laughs> it's cool. Nice. Um, hey, go away. There you go. The which one are going to do? The Dyson uh, space set is up next. One, two, three pieces of the Dyson space set makes it look like this. Oh, my God. Oh, no doubt. This is the base space set out of there. Out of like 19 space sets that we have. No doubt this is the... Wow, this is... The Dyson space set, man. It is obviously... The best one out there. Look at this. This is... A Wow, this thing is like a beauty to see. I mean, look at these white and this gray, gray, is it gray? Brownish color. It's more brown than gray. But I do love the way this ship is like turning all of the different visuals. That is just a gorgeous looking ship. Look at this. This part right here when all of the glow and all of the finer details that you guys are seeing. Oh, this is thing this thing is a beauty. It's a beauty. Um Kobali Space Set, no difference in visuals. So I'm just gonna display it just a little bit so you guys can see no th changes to the ship's appearances at all. So we're going to skip that one and go with the Mako. Come on. Uh, Mako, there you go. One, two, three. And as you guys are seeing, the Mako is... Wow, this is... This is definitely something... to look out for this ship the way it is looking right now it's scary 
I don't know if you guys have seen these ships in in space combat throughout Star Trek while you're like doing like special task force missions and stuff like that, like infected or anything like that or red alerts. But it is good to look at these ships. Now hopefully they don't get destroyed a lot. I mean, it has like a lot of whole hit points. Nice shield modifier of 1.25, as we just mentioned. Only it is lacking a little bit in firepower. But that just that is just something that I would be preferably enjoying if it has like three weapons on the aft instead of just the two. But that is just kind of like nitpicking right there. Because I love this ship the way it is. Um, the new Kara space set. The new Kara space set is obviously from the new Kara reputation. Wow, nice details. This, sh this thing is coming to life. You guys can look at this thing. What? I'm in love with this thing. Look at these wings. All of the detail is coming to life right now. Wow, even these colors right here, that orange. Nice. Orange details. Always good on a ship. Real cool to see this thing. Wow. Nice. Alrighty, uh, next one is going to be the Omega. The Omega. Do we have all three pieces? We do. This is how it looks like with the Omega space set. Uh. Not really liking it though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like it's almost as like I'm equipping like the the Romulan space set out here. Kind of has the same color as a Romulan space set should have. Now obviously, we didn't showcase that, but it kind of like if anybody. Would showcase this ship to me, and I had to guess. I would go with the Romulan space set just because of this light greenish part right here. But if you look closer, uh, you can see the the Omega details, those like ribbons or like dots that you guys can see between the hull, like all over the place. Those finer details, and you would come to a conclusion. That it is the Omega space set. With that really tiny deflector dish, how is this thing going to perform with such a small deflector dish? I wonder. Uh, quantum phase, no difference in visuals. Just the normal default. We're not going to display this thing a long time. Because it's taking up valuable... Oh, wrong button. Come here. The Riemann space set. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Now, definitely, this is the way this ship has, you know, is intended to be, be displayed. The Riemann space set is going to give your enemy chills down the spine this is awesome this is cool nice look at this thing this thing is awesome <laughs> oh man especially the glow that, you d that it gives the ship Nice. Um, the 
Romulan space set. Hey, did we miss something? No. The Romulan space set right here. Oh, there you go. Now I can see those uh, light greenish lines, details underneath the hole right there. Let's see on top. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't. It's not really that you know overwhelming, overpowered the the, the space set in like visuals, but it is what it is. It is the Romulan space set, and it's not really you know not really making the ship look a lot changer than it is, a lot different. It's not making it change a lot. It does highlight the Romulan space set a little bit better when it's not facing the sunlight, so it's like not in direct sunlight, so you guys can see that. Like all of the all the lines from the Romulan space set and this noticeable right here, even better underneath on this ship. Cool. Uh, moving on. Soul defense. No changes to the ship's um, appearances. So, right there. That's enough. <laughs> moving on to Solanis space set. Okay, Solanis space set. It's uh, the same. No changes to this thing at all. So moving on as well. Now this thing is going to definitely change this ship and that is the Terran space set. Now you might have noticed I skipped one and that is the temporal defense. I'm going to save that one for the last. So you guys are going to be amazed at the last part. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Definitely. <sighs> Oh my god, look at these engine uh, compartments, engine bay. I have no idea what to call them. Oh, definitely love this part. Definitely love this part. Nice. Turn space set on a Romulan ship. How about that? <laughs> They've stolen our design. They've stolen, I say. They stole it. <laughs> God damn you, Talshar. You got your paws in everything. <laughs> nice. It does look really insane with this. Temporal set is going to be the last one that I'm going to showcase. But you guys are seeing the Terran space set right now. Nice details in red. And obviously, that this thing is awesome. This thing is truly awesome as it is visually. Um, Gemhedar space set. Uh, one, two, three. Victory is life. Oh, wow. I am definitely loving this thing when it's like on the shadow side. Let's see up here. Mm, not a lot going on. A couple of um, like life pods or anything like that being displayed, being highlighted a little bit more than normal. But right here, you can see a lot of like lights, a lot of, lot of life. And as the Gemidar say, victory is life. So that's nice. That's nice of them, right? That is cool. This is really awesome. Nice. Okay, moving on. Um, we did not showcase the Iconian space set. And there it goes. One, two, three. 
And that is the Iconia space set. I am definitely loving this when it's like not being lit up by the sunlight. This thing is supposed to be on like on the shadow somewhere behind a moon or a space station or like inside a black hole. <laughs> Obviously not because it's going to be destroyed, but you know what I mean. It should be hidden somewhere inside inside a nebula or something like that lying in wait oh my god look at this definitely loving all of these details definitely oh sorry about that nice this part right here I don't really understand what were you thinking <laughs> Adding a couple of lines right here. What is that? What is that? That's crazy. Don't do crazy stuff, cryptic. We don't like that. <laughs> um, let's see. The Breen space set is the one that we're going to feature. There we go. This is the Breen space set. On this Tolaro Intel Carrier Warbird Tier 6, with obviously being a carrier to hangar base of those uh, Scorpion fighters that we're going to see in action in just a little bit. Now, somehow, this uh, part right here in its mouth or in this opening right here, right here. In all of these space sets that I just featured, it has remained like that and it did not change at all. So that is something, you know, to be said for Cryptic. Nice. It's kind of ha has its own unique features, and I definitely like it. Um, okay, so the last space set that I'm going to feature, because I covered everything, well, the other ones, this right here, are just the normal Mark 10 that are coming off out of, uh, like, spaceships and stuff like that, and just, like, defaulted versions. But one thing that I didn't cover is uh, the temporal defense space set, and that is going to make this ship look like a disco ball. Look at that. <laughs> And this cobalt is something that you guys are mentioning. Not me. <laughs> oh, what? Are you guys seeing this? What? Oh, wow. This thing looks amazing right now. Amazing. Now, obviously, these lights are just from the engine trail or engine output or engine wake. You guys name it. It's not part of the ship. It's supposed to be like that. So it wouldn't be noticeable. But it is. What? It's good to look at this thing. It's awesome. Didn't expect it to be like this color-ish right here. But it is good to look at. Wow. Nice. Nice cryptic. Some nice life pods up here. Or escape pods. Cool. Real nice to look at this thing. And I'm going to keep this space set because this is something that you guys might want to see. Right? Am I right? Am I right or am I right? And this is that uh, um, that drilling laser universal console unique um, ability. And we're going to showcase this thing in space. But, f but first of all, I want to talk a little bit about these uh, masteries. Now, obviously, when you're going to level this thing up, 
um, by the Starship Masteries, you're going to unlock special passive abilities. So the first one is, and we already talked a little bit about this thing while we we're doing the uh, the statistics of this ship. But first of all, it's going to be the quick deployment, and then it's going to. 36.5% um, retouch time reduction to launching carrier pet crafts. And that is that um, hangar pets abilities that, you, that we're going to do these things. Uh, one up here and one up here. And also uh, plus 50% rank up XP for all of the hangar pets. So obviously they're going to hangar, they're going to level up faster than normal. That's nice to have, so those guys are not going to die a lot. <laughs> um, enhanced singularity circuitry, improves singularity regeneration, also reduces singularity cooldown. So reduces the cooldown time of singularity power used by 15% and also increase your singularity charge rate by 30%. Um, level 3 is going to enhance or improve um, shield regeneration and hardness. Now, obviously, the number 587 shield regeneration every six seconds has to do with the way that this ship has been built right now, all of the space set, all of the skills and traits and that, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, these things are going to vary for, uh, for player to player, so... Um, if you're doing like you're crunching your numbers to do your character, don't um, you know? Don't hold this number as something that you might want in your build. Uh, but anyway, it reduces damage to shield by five percent. Level four is going to give you plus ten percent whole hit points, and obviously that unlockable starship trait is level five. That is that highly uh, specialized. Specialist uh, cooldown bonus and skill boost when activating specialist bridge officer ability minus 5% recharge time on all specialist bridge abilities to self plus 10 starship hull res restoration that is improved hull healing for 20 seconds and stack up to 5 times. Also to self plus 10 starship exotical power generation or generator uh, improve exotic damage for 20 seconds stacks up to five times also and also um, the last one to self plus 10 starship weapon specialization improve critical hit chance with weapons for 20 seconds and also stack up to five times now we also get uh, that universal console that mining drill laser um, this specialized mining drill emitter can be hooked into a weapon system of any modern starship in order to weaponize its potential. This laser, uh, this drill's laser can be maintained on a target for a long duration, uh, gradually increasing in both damage dealt to the foe and the damage done to their armor system, which in return increases the damage to the target foe will take from all sources of damage. The amount of time of this emitter takes to recharge is directly related to how long it is active on a single target. Taking longer to recharge, the longer it is maintained. Uh, having this console equipped with increased maximum shield capacity while also increasing both current and maximum shield subsystem power. Note, source of maximum power does not stack, only the strongest applies per subsystem. Um, uh, console mod can be equipped on any ship in any console slots, but you only equip one of these in a single ship. Uh, plus D, current and maximum shield uh, subsystem power. That is a passive ability and also plus 20.2% uh, shield hit points. So it's going to increase your sh shield hit points and also your shield capacity as a passive uh, ability. Um... Now this we already read, so 60 max? What? This is crazy, so it can basically hook on to 60, 60 foes? I don't think so. This should be a typo. Anyway, uh, target foe 10 kilometer range to target uh, 123.6. Uh, to 494.5 kinetic damage 
uh, 50% shield penetration damage increases over time uh, 0 to 60 all damage resistance rating debuff increases over time and recharge timer will be two seconds per uh, two seconds per second spent damaging a foe and uh, minus 10 seconds so um, the minimum amount of damage of kinetic damage that this thing is going to do is 123.6 and the maximum 494.5 kinetic damage to your enemies somewhere in between that that's nice and also if you want to increase this number uh, skill points that affect this ability or skills that affect this ability um, weapon training and energy weapon training um, now this thing is part of a space set and this is really confusing me right now because um, all of the universal consoles are like hooked up to each other and but it's kind of weird because the one that you're using from your federation captain you know uh, you could you can't actually um, give it to your Romulan character because these things are bound to characters so if a feder if you have like the Federation version of the Universal Console that is that broadside of mineral array for an example you can't actually give it to this one so you somehow you could never make a you know entire space set but it's weird but anyway I'm going to read that um, so space set number two is standard uh, standardized armaments armaments uh, plus 25 kinetic weapon to photon torpedoes and mines plus 25 percent phase damage for direct energy weapons and also space set number three subatomic elasticity plus 50 physical damage resistance rating plus 25 kinetic damage resistance rating incoming hull increase by uh, zero to 50 percent increase as hull decreases so this is just a uh, percentage if your hull is really low it's going to obviously going to uh, be more effectively and your hull is going to recharge faster from incoming heal so you know another player needs to heal you on this one um, timeline resonance plus 50 percent recharge speed of all Kelvin uh, universal consoles uh, auxiliary warp core ejections uh, fog down proton charges activate drill laser and broadside cannon barrage so um, the auxiliary warp core ejections that is from the Federation uh, proton charges that is from the Klingon variant drill laser is this one and the broadside cannon barrage is from the um, Lobi store the vengeance class and I don't see anybody making a you know entire complete set of three unless you're going to open no you can't actually open because all of the lock boxes are faction specific so no way in hell you could reach these two uh, the entire space set in uh, by you know by all of the four pieces so that is something that cryptic need to fix and hopefully they're going to fix it because it's like really weird there's no way for you to make your you know make your space set complete but anyway moving on uh, we didn't showcase all of the bridge officers we have a lieutenant commander universal station a lieutenant universal station a lieutenant engineering or a temporal op station right here and lieutenant tactical station and also this is a science heavy so a commander science and intel station now i'm just going to put up s or at least i hope i have enough bridge officer powers or bridge officers to equip on this thing because i want to survive a little bit um do we have anything with shield healings uh, weapon shield let's do with this one now i don't ob obviously i don't recommend you guys using this build uh this is just something that i put up together just because i want to have a little bit of fun while we're going to take this thing in space combat in just a little bit now what i'm also going to do showcase for you guys is its own unique bridge and I'm going to do that right now. Hopefully, we will we'll not get a disconnect from the server because um, my client needs to patch up a uh, small little map. That is why you guys are seeing server not responding up there because it is downloading some content out of uh, Cryptic's uh, servers.
so um yeah hopefully no we won't get a disconnect right there we go nice so this unique bridge now obviously these ships have been featured in or at least two of these ships has been featured in the movie from jj abrams oh my god look at this thing this thing is amazing Anyway, uh, these things uh, were featured in J.J. Uh, Abrams, but uh, the Klingon Bridge and the, the, the Romulan Bridge, the, the, the one that you are uh, seeing right now, they haven't been featured. So um, Kripik has to had to design these things from scratch and they have made... What the hell is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Can we just... Okay, so this is supposed to be like a screen or something that can, you know, people can type up here and then activate the, like, weapon systems and stuff like that. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is crazy, but it's awesome as well. Um, we also, s you know, we s also see, uh, saw this one, this part right here that you can actually look outside in like all the other bridges because you kind of have like that really big space and has like that feeling that you are like outside or at least viewing outside of this ship. And that is something that Cryptic is doing and that is just awesome. Thank you, Cryptic, for doing that. Um, so obviously... This ship also features its own movie theater. <laughs> I have no idea what you call this thing. Like, like, there are like three chairs right here that can watch like as big as screen. I mean, wouldn't you call it a movie theater? <laughs> it's private collection. <laughs> oh, that is just that is just wrong. I know. I'm sorry. Um, okay, same deal up here. And okay, so there's underneath right here, there's like a walk path, a walkway. Nice. And account bank can be accessed right here. Uh, library file and contact the duty officers. And that is basically a um, the rundown of the bridge. No more rooms to, to display. I mean, this is it. I do like it. I wish they didn't put like a movie theater times two up here. Because that is just, you know, my personal preference, obviously. And I do love that they are move or that, uh, that, that, that Cryptic is moving forward with these uh, lens flares. And these uh, lens flares are like these lines that you see all over the place right here. That when you move, it kind of like tracks with you. And this part right here, I do love this. This hologram type deal going on. Nice. But anyway, um, that is the ship's bridge. Hope you guys find it a little bit of entertainment out of this movie theater bridge. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, the next part, I'm going to take this thing to the Delta Quadrant because I'm going to showcase a little bit of action. Uh, and by doing Argala Patrol and... Um, can we use Quantum Slipstream, please? Because I know I've been taking a lot of... Um, a lot of time displaying this ship, but... You guys are going to get the full package. Patrolling the Argana system is obviously going to give us the mission wanted. Where we're going to help um, the species survive. And uh, we're going to display a little bit of combat. Now obviously, I'm not going to do really well on these things, no really special uh, like consoles, no upgraded weapons, no skills, so just the basic stuff that this thing comes standard in, that is anything and everything um, 
that this ship has or at least that my ship can be displayed on in combat it's not obsolete it's not really good or bad so can we move this thing down here there we go so we have a hangar bay with two hangar pets or at least with six of them so we are going to see that in action go attack that guy would you there we go what is that what are those hold on we didn't talk about the pets yet what do they these things have now obviously these are the standard version now there is a better version in your dilithium store special item inboxes go to pets and all the way down here you can see the kelvin timeline scorpion fighters and these are the advanced version obviously the better version out of these but there is also the elite version out of these and you can find those in your um uh, what's it called the the fleet the fleet store yeah where you can get your stuff from the fleet and those are the elite version that is obviously the ones that i do recommend you guys using the elite because the elite is obviously the better version uh, but let's see what these things have these are like the, the standard version they have the plasma beam array they have plasma torpedo launcher and reroute reserves to weapons nice okay let's see this thing in action now this is as far as it can zoom out so can we target these guys yeah there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my pets go inside of the home because I want to aggro these guys and I want them to attack me. Now in its size as you guys are seeing the Kazon Cruiser versus this thing is size is like really big obviously slow to maneuver it is a carrier after all and in a little bit you guys are going to see a six variants of this ship because i'm going to use that warp shadow number five here we go so you guys can see all of these <laughs> versions of the same ship that is just amazing to look at Some of them are just idling, apparently. They're not even firing. Oh, okay, that's it. Now, it is slow to maneuver, like I said. Don't expect this thing to, to be an escort. You know, and obviously, because it has uh, five or four consoles in science, also four in tactical, and also uh, featuring a commander science bridge, obviously a science heavy. So, you know, a lot of science ability as of late, but that is kind of the way to go these days, right? Um, special unique ability that activates drill laser. And some of you were asking, don't um, remove the HUD. So don't go into cinematic mode when you're doing this. Fine, just for you guys, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to target this guy, the Kazan Raider. Now let's find somebody that's a little bit high on hold. How much do you have? 75. Oh, nice. Okay, that one is it. There we go. Oh! What? I just vaporized the dude. Can we get... Okay. So it is obviously set up to the amount of time that this thing is active oh my shield is gone radar there we go look at this thing uh, hold on to it god damn it leave me alone people what nice side what god damn it uh, give me more shadows again. Okay, this thing is definitely a must-have for all of your Romulan um, people out there that are using scimitars to do like 
gazillion times, million GPS. Let's use it on this carrier. Three, two, one. It is going up and up in damage over time. And there it goes in cooldown. Wow. Um, definitely, definitely something. What, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Oh man, I just died. I wasn't paying attention, obviously. Uh, it's not the fault of this ship. This ship is good. I can recommend you guys using this ship. And definitely this unique skill is awesome. Come here, move it. Move it, go to the enemy. Go, go, go. Um... Emergency weapon to power of to uh, emergency uh, power to weapons because my weapon needs to be a little bit up. There it goes. There is a maximum of um, one minute that this thing can be activated. But look at that 12 crit. Or oh, it wasn't a crit, it just was a uh, a high amount of damage. And I have no idea if this thing can actually crit or not. No, but it is a uh, shield penet. What? It is a shield penetrating, you know, uh, skill. And also the damage is going to increase over time. So this thing is a beauty. This ability, this universal console, this thing is good. For all of you scimitars out there. Look at this thing. It's eating away at its hull. I'm not even going to attack it. I'm just going to let this thing go all the way down to... Uh, Whatever he's going to do now. Obviously, we got these stupid Benthans that are attacking the current target. Well, we're doing so much damage, and like I said, I don't have any weapons selected, and this obviously somehow has a 360 degree firing arc. So you can basically hook it up with your enemy and it just go. Look at how much damage we're doing to this thing. What? Just took out the carrier by itself. Now, like I said, um, the longer it's going to be at, you know, being uh, being attacking at your enemy, like being active at the enemy, the longer it's going to be on cooldown. So keep that in mind. Um, this thing is awesome, to be honest. Maybe you know, just for this. <laughs> skill you guys want to pay a lot of money but I am definitely liking these kind of abilities on this thing kaboom <laughs> guys this was the Kelvin timeline Talaru Intel carrier warbird and that is a tier six i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you guys had a little bit of entertainment kind of coming out of this channel hope to see you on the next one for now i'm gonna say take care